Hi, my name is Lori Riddle and I am Akamar Atom from Hill River Indian Community. Um, I am co-founder of Great Gila River Alliance for a Clean Environment and also part of the Gila River Against Loop 202 group. Um, I'm here today giving our perspective on some of the issues that we're dealing with on um, environmental impacts and cultural impacts with protecting South Mountain. And to my left, um, Paralyzed South Mountain and the community of Awatuki is to the east end of it, to the right, and Gila River lies in between. And to my right, uh, you'll see parts of the Estrella Mountain, and if, it's not a very good vantage point, but if you were to pick away some of these trees, uh, you would see they meet, but they lie almost parallel to one another. And what we're trying to make the community aware of is that um, with 188 emissions coming out of the eight-lane freeway, it's going to be a definite health impact on the humans, the plants, and the animals. Uh, we're trying to educate community members and people in general to think about the future generations. We'd like them to be able to have a clean, safe place, um, place of their own. With this proposed freeway, we're looking at um, losing 600 plus acres of community land. So uh, when you do consider your vote, please consider the impacts. Thank you. And ADOT has also stated that there are three uh, proposed routes for the Loop 202 extension. We in our hearts believe that no build option is the only way to go, the safe way to go. Uh, we thank you for your continued support and we hope to be victorious. 